All right, we are back with another acoustic tutorial. Happy New Year, by the way. Uh, thanks for joining me once again. We are going to be going over Great Things by Phil Wickham today. So this is, I guess it's an older song, it was released a few years back. Um, you know, it depends on how you handle your repertoire at your church. Uh, some churches, it's like only new stuff, like new, new, new. Um, and others have a decent amount of older material in their rotation, which, you know, neither of those things are bad. So, but this song in particular, it's a few years old. It's, it's a great song though. And I think it's easily translatable to an acoustic guitar. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I pull it off, which I actually just did this past Sunday. Um, it was just me, just me up there and uh, leading the church in worship on my acoustic and it was actually really fun. Um, I actually didn't do this song, but um, again, I have done it multiple times in the past and it's a fun song. You know, it's great when you have a full band and you got that backing track, but uh, a lot of us don't have that luxury. So, um, and I've led this song multiple times just on this guy. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let's start. All right, so the song originally is in the key of B flat, I think. Um, you know, uh, Phil Wickham released, I think, a, a radio version as well as a like a living room session version. I forget what he calls that album, but um, I actually used that that version, like the living room version, as um, maybe it's sing along. I I totally forget. Anyways, there's a more kind of like stripped down version that he released, and it's really cool because that was way easier for my team to kind of latch onto and to learn because the parts are broken down and, and simplified. You know, he has uh, a guitar, electric guitar, he has piano, he has drums, uh, but it's not super produced with all these crazy layers. So it's really nice because it, it makes it easy for, you know, a, a more simple church band like mine to kind of pick it up and learn it. Um, but anyway, so I think in that version, he. I think maybe in both versions he does in B flat. I am gonna be all the way down here in G. Uh, that was a, a good key for, for my voice. And G is just such a, a simple key uh, for worship. So many worship songs are in G or in C or in D, uh, some of those relative chords. But um, so it, you know that, that key just made a lot of sense to me. So that's what I'll be playing it in uh, now. So the intro kind of has that like, he has that, kind of fade up crescendo intro thing going on in the beginning. Um, you could kind of mimic that on guitar or you can just go ahead and start it. Uh, like I said, this past Sunday I led an acoustic. Um, one of the songs I led, just I just started playing it. I think it was A Lion and the Lamb. And another song, I kind of, kind of chunked it and kind of did a little crescendo up and then started the progression. So, if you were to start it like that with a little crescendo thing, this is kind of how it would sound like the intro. So that would be the intro, um, and then you could just start it kind of full volume if you want without that little crescendo thing too, kind of like. But I kind of did give it like a little in the beginning just to, just as like a little, little intro so it's not just, I don't know, to me it's a, it's, it's more harsh that way. Um, it's better, I think, in my opinion, if you give just a little something like a, or just something to kind of lead into the intro, I guess, but. Okay, so that takes us to the first verse. Um, you know, he, he has this kind of like, um, so I like to mimic that on acoustic um, by just kind of almost isolating that uh, that low G, um, just that that root note. So it would kind of sound like this. Kind of 
of gives it a cool vibe. Um, I'm basically, with my strumming, I'm, I'm hitting that string almost every time. I'm just accenting the, kind of the, the, the tempo, you know, so, or the time signature or whatever. So, so this is kind of what the, that first verse would sound like with that, with that vibe. So we come out of the intro, I'll play one intro, and then we'll go into it. Our King. Come let us bow at His feet. He has done great things. See what our Savior has done. See how His love overcomes. He has done great things. He has done great things. So you can kind of see how I kind of broke there right before the chorus. I kind of like doing that because it, it just gives a little bit more um, uh, dynamics to the song. You probably, if you watch my other videos, I talk about dynamics all the time, <laughs> but it makes it just more interesting, like I've said before. And, but I like doing that. But, um, but yeah, so that's how the first verse uh, would sound, uh, kind of doing that, that whole vibe. So. Now, moving into the first chorus, which on the album version is kind of like a drop chorus. So let me show you how I approach that. This is what the first chorus would sound like. One, two, three. O oh, hero of heaven, you conquer the grave. You free every captive and break every chain. Oh God, you have done great things. We dance in your freedom, awaken alive. Oh Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high. Oh God, you have done great things. Back to the intro. And then that would go into the second verse there. So you can see kind of how I approach that drop chorus. Um, so, and then I did that little back into the uh, instrumental. So it's just a little something I like to do, but then moving into the second verse, we're moving away from that and just going more to uh, just a normal. I think that's the that's the rhythm that I do usually on that second verse. So this is what the the second verse would sound like with that. One, two, three. You've been faithful through every storm. You'll be faithful forevermore. I've done great things, and I know you will do it again, for your promise is yes and amen, you will do great things, God you do great things. Into the bridge there. So I just kind of blasted through a lot there, but it was the, the second verse into the, um, the second chorus and then the instrumental before the bridge, which just stays on um, the, the one chord, the G. So, but yeah, again, a more straightforward 
strum pattern for verse two, and then you can kind of see how I approached the kind of full, full band chorus. Um, that same kind of strumming pattern, but just totally open. So, um, and then that'll take us into the bridge. So I'm gonna play that, that instrumental just kind of stays on the one, um, and then I'll show you how I approach the bridge. So one, two, three, four. Again, a little more intense here. That's what the bridge would look like. I'm not sure if he does that D over F sharp in the recording. I, th I think I'm pretty sure I saw that on the chord that I, the chord chart that I got from Song Select. But um, it sounds great nonetheless, and um, it kind of builds anticipation for the the next section of the song. So it sounds nice. I like doing that. Um, you kind of saw how I uh, built energy from the first bridge to the second bridge. Uh, I, I went to a palm muted thing on the second bridge to kind of kind of build energy there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Why don't we move on to that drop chorus after the second bridge and and the final chorus and outro. I'll just play that entire thing for you and uh, let's let's do it. So one, two, three. Oh hero of heaven, you conquered the grave. You free. And break every chain, oh God, you have done great things. We dance in your freedom, awake and alive. Oh Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high, oh God, you have done great things. You have done great So I didn't really put that um, that break in there that they do on the album right before the last intro. Um, I suppose you could do it on acoustic. Um, let's see. You could do it. I mean, I, I feel like without a band at that point, it's almost like a little bit too performancey. That's it's not that's not a real word, obviously, but um, that's what I would use to describe <laughs> doing that doing that break with just an acoustic guitar. Um, but I guess you could. Um, again, it always depends on your church, your your uh, your your congregation, your demographic, and all that. So. Um, it's a, but it's such a minor thing. Um, but yeah, I, I choose not to do it. And then I go into that intro, that outro, I mean, and I kind of loop that, Oh God, you do great things. I like, if there is kind of a, a singable, taggable line at the end of a song like that, I like to keep singing it because it gives the church something to sing during that time instead of just like staring at you, like, while you're finishing the song, you know, it's like, all right, I guess all right, we're done singing. I guess we'll wait for the next song to start so we can start singing again. So it, it just helps kind of make it less awkward and it, it, it keeps it more um, uh, participatory. Uh, you know, it gives the church something to 
uh, to keep doing throughout the intro of the song. Uh, so I just I, I just tagged that a few times, um, and then uh, and then I end it, and that is the end. That's the end of the song. So that's how I approach uh, Great Things uh, by Phil Wickham, um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else that would be notable, noteworthy to tell you. I don't think so. Are these are these instrumentals good? Is this working for you guys that are actually watching them? I want to hear from you guys. Um, is there something that you're like, dude, you should have showed us that, or why didn't like why didn't you slow that part down? Or because <laughs> like this is like totally new for me. I'm just um, I just hope that it helps. And if I can be even more helpful, that would be amazing. So let me know. Let me know in the comments if you're like, hey, can you just just chill on this one part. I just wanted to see how you did that one thing. You just moved on too quick. Or, you know, how do you approach that part? Or you never talked about this. Or So anyway, just give me some feedback if you got any. And uh, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. It's another one. I got more coming. So hopefully this helps. And uh, God bless you guys. And God be with you uh, wherever you're at. Going into whatever Sunday you're headed into. And um, I hope that... Um, just God helps you and is with you as you lead your people in worship. So uh, see you guys in the next video.